Hello, ladies and gentlemen, uh, Kevin uh, Levitt, you are the Global Director of Financial Services at NVIDIA, based out of the US. You've been with NVIDIA for nearly five years. I think of you as a fintecher at heart, as you've been involved with Credit Karma and Rustify and business development and sales. Let me welcome you and thank you for being with us. Yeah, thanks, Effie. It's great to be here. Super excited for the show in a couple of weeks' time. And, you know, undoubtedly, NVIDIA is leading this critical AI development phase. I wanted to ask you to help us grasp the ecosystem play that is being built as we speak and is so foundational for this development phase. Yeah, I was super excited to see you leverage the word ecosystem because that is paramount to how we engage any market and especially financial services. Obviously, there's a tremendous focus on how to leverage generative AI in the context of you know, banking, payments, insurance, et cetera. And NVIDIA's full stack accelerated computing platform for generative AI operates at every layer of the ecosystem. And it really requires not just the bank and its own talent and data, but partners, whether it's GSIs, fraud detection, ISVs, payment networks, because it needs to be everywhere that our data lives. And that's how we look at NVIDIA's full stack accelerated computing platform. And ultimately the goal is to make it faster, easier, and a higher ROI for companies in the ecosystem to build and deploy generative AI, as well as regular machine learning and deep learning enabled applications. And the last point I'll make is if you saw our most recent announcement around NVIDIA NIM or NVIDIA Inference Microservices, it is all about faster deployment, reducing time from perhaps a week down to an hour and reducing the costs of inference, which are skyrocketing right now and all about improving accuracy and reducing latency for customers that are deploying generative AI models. So again, just to reiterate, you know, ecosystems and platforms are at the heart of everything that we do at NVIDIA. And we're super excited to engage the ecosystem, particularly around payments at Money 2020 in a couple of weeks. Great, this is the second year that NVIDIA is at Money 2020 Europe with AWS hosting this AI summit. What are the top use cases of interest that you are going to be discussing in financial services? What are you seeing really in the market? Sure. And we're super excited to return with AWS. It was standing room, we're standing room only in Las Vegas back in October. We're expecting the exact same in Amsterdam here in early June. And I think one of the dynamics that's really changed in this past six months is we're looking at 2024 as the year of AI in the enterprise. It's really moved from the realm of the research and innovation labs into the lines of business who are looking to figure out how to improve customer service, how to reduce inefficiencies, how to generate new revenue opportunities. And certainly that's where generative AI will play a huge role. But when we think about whether it's Gen AI or other AI workloads, it's about three major phases of the workflow, right? And so we're seeing a lot of innovation around data preparation and PayPal actually just introduced their own blog about how they migrated to NVIDIA's platform for GPU accelerated Spark and saved 70% on their costs for data preparation. Then you move from data prep into model training. And this is where migrating to NVIDIA's full stack accelerated platform has driven significant returns. We've got a great case study with JP Morgan where they reduced their server footprint by 75% and improved model runtimes by 40X. And then ultimately it's about deploying at production or inference. And this is where you know, companies like Bunk are using generative AI to create synthetic data to improve the accuracy of their models for fraud detection. And in the case of Bunk, it led to a 16% reduction in customer losses incurred by fraud. So again, some of the use cases you know, certainly focused on recommendation systems, improving personalization, advanced intelligent document automation, automation and processing using generative AI to produce new insights out of data that's streaming into the asset management firm in real time, optimizing portfolio management, 
and certainly for payments, improving fraud detection accuracy and generating better scores to predict fraud and reduce false positives to improve the customer experience. And all of this, of course, is complementing the human in the loop. It doesn't happen without all of us there to help make the bank faster, smarter, and to operate more efficiently. So the reality is, if you're not using AI across your lines of business, the competitors that are will ultimately win. We're super excited to discuss all of this in the context of the summit that we're uh, sponsoring with AWS. And we've got a great roster of industry leaders from MasterCard, Stripe, HSBC, Barclays, Capital One, and more. And uh, super excited to see everybody at the summit. Yeah, no wonder the session is called Meet the Architects, uh, right? Because it's really not only about the potential, but actually what is happening now, what are companies uh, doing in financial uh, services. I, I'd uh, like to thank you, Kevin, for this briefing. We're all excited to be there at Money 2020. The AI Summit is on Tuesday. Uh, for our listeners, you can check the agenda and the specific times to come and meet the architects and discuss. Thank you, Kevin, again. Fantastic. Thanks, Effie.